I've been wanting to do a video on my handwriting for a while now and I've also been asked to do it by some of my subscribers I don't consider my handwriting particularly special um, but I suppose in this day and age cursive handwriting is something of a uh, rarity I come from a generation uh, where we had to handwrite everything we were taught cursive handwriting in school and the papers that we turned in were uh, judged not only on their content but also on the quality of the handwriting and we were graded down if our handwriting was ugly or uh, unreadable and I, I come from a country that used to be communist and so access to technology was uh, pretty much um, well there wasn't so you know my my handwriting is a product of that i i've been taking notes by hand i've been writing a lot all of my life and i don't consider it beautiful i consider it practical it's certainly not calligraphy i i wouldn't i wouldn't say that it's calligraphy and i'm sorry if i bored you up to this point with just a blank sheet of paper and uh and so on and so forth talking about my handwriting but you know that's the that's the idea Right, so it's not pretty. I don't consider it pretty, um, but it's it's uh, legible, somewhat legible. I certainly can read my own handwriting, which is the the whole point, you know. When I write something down, I want to be able to read it. But uh, I can write fairly fast, and um, I don't know. It's a nice exercise. I like to I like to to handwrite and especially when I'm reading books and I find something interesting not only do I underline this uh, what I find interesting but I also take notes um, see keep a journal which is of course handwritten right um, so that's I don't know if I've said enough or more than enough about my handwriting but that's what it's a product of you know I'm gonna be 40 years old this year so this what you see is a product of, 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 of how many years of writing um, I would say 34 because I started writing in first grade so 34 34 years of handwriting um, yeah now let, let's talk a bit about the instruments that I use to handwrite this fountain pen for example that you see here it's a Parker fountain pen and it was given to be by my mother it was part of a part of a uh, set of fountain pen and a ballpoint pen and I've had it I think I believe since fifth grade or sixth grade so this fountain pen has been with me for what is it almost 30 years and it still writes great and uh, and I love it um, so you know a good fountain pen will last you a lifetime if you take care of it so when you look at the prices for fountain pens keep that in mind um, these these things are made to last a lifetime and once you buy one if you treat it well you'll have it uh, forever 
Right. Um, I would also recommend that you not let others write with your fountain pens. And this has nothing to do with ego or uh, possessiveness. This has to do with the fact that the nib, which is this part right here, you see? The nib uh, conforms to your handwriting, so you break it in sort of like a car. You start to handwrite, and then the nib breaks in according to your movements. And uh, if you give it to somebody else to write with, uh, they can they can kind of ruin the nib, and it, it won't get back into the the shape that you that you formed it, and it'll quite never be the same fountain pen. Particularly if the other person isn't used to fountain pens, and might press down a little harder or sort of pull it across the page or whatnot. So keep that in mind. So this is one of my fountain pens. I'm not going to start showing you everything um, that I own, but I just want to give you an idea. You know? Here, this is another fountain pen that I recently got from my father, part of a set again. Ballpoint pen, fountain pen, guess which one I use more, it's the fountain pen of course. This one has, it's thinner, has a smaller nib, um, but I like it. I like it because... Um, it's it's quite small. It's easy to take with me when I'm traveling, and uh, the writing is also finer, uh, which means I can write smaller. Which is good when the page uh, space is at a premium, like when you're traveling and you only have uh, your journal with you and you're trying to, to write down a lot of stuff. And that's, I guess, another thing uh, that I wanted to point out. Uh, the finer the nib, the smaller the, the handwriting can be. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. And so you can fit more, uh, more on the page. Um, and the thicker the nib, uh, the less you can fit on the page because the ra the handwriting will have to get bigger otherwise the uh, the lines of the letters will start sort of merging into each other um, so those that's the fountain pens now when it comes to ink I have all sorts of ink I mean it's just here show you so just a, a sampling of my ink and yes I also use these the cartridges and they're pretty good believe it or not um, you know these little things pretty good um, so I have a fountain pen for example which is I, I say it's a throwaway fountain pen not really a throwaway but it's particularly made to work with the cartridges and I carry that with me and it does, it's not a high value pen and so if I, if I lose it by mistake then I'm not going to miss it so much and that's why I say it's a throwaway I certainly wouldn't want to ever lose this one um, now fountain pens are great um, but the best writing you can do is with a dip pen and when I want to write nicely I use dip pens this is these are some of them and the nibs are replaceable on dip pens and I actually Oh, sorry, excuse me, I'm trying to open a tiny little box, you see, uh, which contains other nibs that I have. So, you see, I have other nibs, and some are thicker, some are thinner. Uh, they're made for calligraphy. Now, I'm not a calligraphist by any sort of means, so I write okay, but I don't write amazingly. And... Um, so I just use these when I want to write a little nicer and I'm 
What I'm doing now is I'm trying to find out which nib yeah, would work best. So I'm going to go with this one, for example. Let me just show you. Your handwriting actually changes. Excuse me for that noise. Your handwriting actually changes when you uh, when you use a dip pen. It actually becomes nicer. So what shall I write for you here? Yeah. I supposed to be a question sign. I believe the handwriting looks better and I think you, you'll probably agree with me. Uh, it's certainly the lines come off nicer, the, uh, the terms look better and it has to do with um, the fact that there's resistance. Um, there's a resistance when the nib meets the paper. So you need some sort of resistance to actually write better. So, if you were to grade uh, by level of friction uh, the um, writing instruments, right, you would have the dip pen, which has the most friction, then you would have the fountain pen, which is actually made to have less friction, so it's more convenient to use, and then of course you have the ballpoint pen which has the least amount of friction and when you write with a ballpoint pen your handwriting actually looks worse and that's why there's less friction and so your hand tends to go everywhere and it just it just mm, you lose that training uh, in cursive handwriting and it just gets really sloppy now you can write with it for short, peri short periods of time but you will notice after a page or two that it starts to look worse and that's why less friction um, now there are fountain pens fountain pens ballpoint pens that use um, what do you call those things the things that go inside the ballpoint pens that, that hold the ink I forgot the term for them I'm sorry um, but there are ballpoint pens that actually have um, real ink inside of their reservoirs and there are some that are made to, to actually have a little friction when you write on the paper. Right. Let's just say that that's it for now. If you have any more questions, I guess you can ask me in the comments. I highly encourage you to take a, a course in cursive handwriting or to uh, get a book or see if there's an online course for it or something or a tutorial and just practice, practice, practice. I mean, this, again, is a result of many years of, of, of um, handwriting. Um, and, I, and I tried in all of my practice, in all of that, in all of those years, to get to the point where it looks nice enough, 
but it's also easy for me to write so I don't have to sit there and draw the letters I can actually write them fairly fast and you know get my thoughts on paper um, yeah so I had to stri uh, strike a compromise between beauty and uh, and uh, practicability so I just want to thank you mistakes it's okay and I hope that uh, you will be inspired to take up cursive handwriting goodness I'm running off the screen here there we go so why don't I finish it the way I finish a letter let me just say all the best